Hi, welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Friday the 4th of June 2021. Making videos when Mercury is retrograde is a bit of a thankless task. So yes, we're here. I'm glad to be here. I've knocked the stand over. I have got up and walked off with the microphone attached to me and the whole thing came with me. I then dropped the tarot cards, which is nothing new, but not in a good I can read them kind of a way, more in a sort of reaching over to pick up the camera that had fallen on the floor. I kind of grazed some tarot cards that then slid all over the place. So here we are, we've made it. Let's celebrate, the moon's in Aries. Thank God it's not in Pisces anymore. And we're gonna have a couple more 1,144 interesting and fun facts that you need to know. Okay, and this is weird because I did a clear out. I know, now and again I have a clear out I'm looking over there towards the bookcase and I got rid of quite a lot of books, some of the boys' old books, you know, that he didn't um, need anymore. And one of them was this one, the children's book, Where the Wild Things Are. It apparently was originally titled Where the Wild Horses Are. However, the author and illustrator Maurice Sendak ended up changing the name of it after he realized he had no idea how to draw horses. Have you ever tried drawing a horse? I don't know about you, but I am not a drawer. I cannot really draw, um, nor can I do things like build Lego, you know, and stuff like that. I'm not very artistically visual. Um, and drawing horses, <laughs> they always come out a little bit like an at, at you know, off Star Wars, a bit kind of like triangle legs, my horses. So I can totally sympathize with he was thinking, oh my God, I've got to draw like a whole book full of horses. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the state of Illinois has banned exfoliating face washes. Is this true? Are you in Illinois? Tell me, are you using an exfoliating face wash? The state of Illinois has banned exfoliating face washes because the micro beads are so small they actually slip through the water treatment facilities and end up back in the water supply. Oh, tell me if you're using that, if you're in Illinois, or if you can taste beads in your water. Okay, I'm not saying these, these uh, 1,144 facts are true, by the way, you'll have to do your own research on that one. Wow, that one's grim, we're not having that one. Mm -mm -mm -mm. A psychologist named Timothy Leary was sent to jail in 1970 and given a series of tests to determine which jail he should be placed in. Since he designed many of the tests himself, he manipulated the answers so that he would be placed in low security prison as a gardener and ended up escaping eight months later. And if that was a tarot card, it'd be the Seven of Swords. Yes. Noah Webster, the creator of the first ever American dictionary, learned 26 languages so that he could understand and research the origins of his own country's tongue in order to write it. Coolio, right. Let's put a bookmark in that and let's get some Lenormand out first. The Dreaming Way. What do we need to know, Lenormand cards? What do we need to know? And then we'll throw a few tarot cards down with it. Ooh, that's old school. That's the Joker card. We're gonna leave that in there. Okay, what do we need to know? Okay. This could almost be like a random love reading all on its own. Okay. <laughs> if I tell you we've got three cards, we get the man. Beautiful, isn't it? That is beautiful. The snake, which is a seven of swordsy kind of a card. A lot of assonance in there. You put the ass back in assonance. And choices. Yes. A man, a snake, and a choice, <laughs> as the actress said to the bishop. Okay, I know what I think, but I'm going to look in the little white books. We don't know this set. I don't know this set well enough yet. 
but I know that this is something to do with a choice probably about a man probably there is a snaky element to it this card presents a sophisticated worldly man shown gazing outward he could represent a male being read for or a woman's lover husband partner or particularly if the man and the woman cards are close together and facing each other but there isn't a woman card in this if they're far apart but facing each other the relationship has potential but he's looking straight at the snake which happens to be a woman actually hmm <laughs> oh my god the man may be more focused on something else if they're close together but facing opposite directions their connection may be troubled the man may be more focused on something else if he is looking towards the snake. Just saying. Okay. If that's the case, there's some kind of doubts around whether they, um, whether they want a proper and intimate relationship or not. And then we go straight to snake. And snake is like seven of swords yeah look before you leap for snakes among sweet flowers do creep warning you appearances may be deceiving the people who seem to be your friends could be undermining you pay close attention um, it's the snake in the grass card when the snake appears make sure you have your eyes open and see the situation for what it really is and then choices then you have choices it's like the lovers card i feel like we're dealing in lovers energy and the new moon solar eclipse is in gemini which is the lover's energy as well. Yeah, a multi multitude of paths to consider. There are right answers. There are no wrong answers. Okay, we like this. Even if you find yourself in a corner, you can always turn around and try a different direction. Okay, you might feel you get right back where you started. You remember we talked yesterday about there being a certain amount of chaos to this. The ladder in this, don't even know if I've shown you the card. The ladder shows you yet another option and another perspective, like a bird's eye view, I think. Use the many tools and resources available to you to deal with challenges. When the choices card appears near an ominous card, the outcome's not yet determined, but you are. Woof! Okay, I want to throw a couple of cards and I'm gonna use, I want to use the Lightseer's Tarot. Oh, there it is. I'm looking for it in the box and it's right here on the table. It's a bit one of those days. I feel like sometimes with Mercury retrograde, it takes a little while to kick in and then you have one or two days where you just think, really? And for me, this is one of those days. I'm on a really. Three of Swords. Hello, Three of Swords. Okay. Okie dokie, as they say. <laughs> okay, if you are a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you're going to come good with this, but there's a bit of a rough ride in between. Two of Pentacles, Jupiter and Capricorn, shuffling things around, moving things, changing things, thinking of new ideas, sorting things with the Six of Wands. Eventually a good outcome, but I'm going to say eventually because I don't think that's until the end of June myself. Just my thoughts. I think we have a full moon in Capricorn at the end of June. I find it really hard to read the glyphs in any of these, so let me just double check that it is especially the Capricorn glyph, it's so weird. See that for me, it could be Taurus, but no, it's Capricorn. Okay, we've got a super moon, a full moon in Capricorn and Mercury's gone direct by then. And I really feel there's something, <laughs> it's like uh, uh, solid, <laughs> not just hooters, solid, okay? There's something solid by then, okay. For the man, I get the Three of Swords. I think we all know what that means. There is something in this about past hurts, triangulation, a man looking towards the snake. Do they want a relationship? There's some doubts here, you know? I'm not gonna 
I'm not going to glitch the turd on this one. For the snake, which is um, in the middle, we get the Queen of Cups. Using your intuition and you can know if you not put your mind to it because it's not about your mind. If you use, you know, if you use your juju and your magic powers, you probably already know anyway, I would say, the answer to what you're asking. And then for the choices card, the Eight of Cups, walking away from something you love. That is one of the choices. It doesn't necessarily mean it has to be that, but it is one of the choices. This is running between now and thoughts about this are high, I think, until the end of June. Yeah. We get deep knowing, and that is my eclipse card as well, and the beautiful owl. And yesterday we had the truth be told, wasn't it? It's really hot in here. Truth be told, and there was an owl, itchy nose, with a window that opened. Remember the window of truth? Mm-hmm. Deep knowing the truth will set you free, but first it's really going to you off. Yes, never a truer word spoken there. And then we get Healing with the Angels card, Trust, where somebody trusts in the universe but is holding this full moon card. <coughs> okay, you're going to have to trust the universe with this one and it's not going to be easy, okay? Please leave me a comment and let me know how that resonates with you. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.